Hey, my name is Kevin Toe. Welcome back to the channel. A few days ago, the news hit us in the face that Oscar Isaac is going to play the role of Solid Snake in the upcoming live-action Metal Gear Solid movie. I'm a true Metal Gear Solid fan. I love Metal Gear Solid. In fact, that was one of the first video games that I ever received on Christmas Eve when the game was coming out for PlayStation 1. And I have never been happier in my entire life, actually, when I opened that present. But is Oscar Isaac right for the role as Solid Snake? The internet is going crazy about this. Some people think it's a great idea, some people think it's the worst idea they've ever seen. I, my opinion is probably this, Oscar Isaac is a great actor, I loved him in the Star Wars movies, I loved him in Ex Machina, and I loved him in a few other movies, he's a great actor, but I do not feel deeply inside of my soul that he is the correct choice for portraying Solid Snake. So this is my wish list for Casting Metal Gear Solid Let me see what you think about this list in the comments down below and if you're new to this channel Do not forget to subscribe and if you subscribe don't forget to push the bell in the top right corner So you won't miss out on any future videos that I post just like this one and Please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the clip. It really helps me a lot So here is my wish list for the cast for the upcoming Metal Gear Solid movie if I was in charge, these are the persons that I would choose. I've always been hyped by the idea of Christian Bale as Solid Snake. I think he would do a tremendous work portraying Snake, both because his looks but also his performance in the Batman movies. He even could pull off doing the voice. Hugh Jackman is also a good candidate. He reminds me of Snake too and is a great actor in many ways. Tom Cruise is obviously a third candidate given his looks and his performance in the Mission Impossible movies. But I personally do believe Bale would do the best job of the legendary Solid Snake. Meryl Silverberg, Colonel Campbell's daughter. We all know that Scarlett Johansson looks a lot like how we might picture Meryl as a real person inside of our heads. She is also amazing in the Avengers movies and she is without a doubt a great actress. Mila Jovovich, the ultimate action woman, would also probably fit this role perfectly. I especially think back to the fifth element where her performance was so good it almost made me cry. She can do it, I'm sure. Just please stay away from the Resident Evil franchise, and you'll be fine. Colonel Roy Campbell, Snake's commander and the commander of Foxhound. Robert Redford has been in acting for a long time. He has experience and has done a lot of great performances. He also has a look that I believe could fit well in Campbell's beret. Michael Douglas, a well-respected actor with a lot of rememberable roles, would also pull this one off. I am 100% sure of that. Naomi Hunter, Snake's maybe closest friend on the other side of the codec. She's a major character in the game and is dressed in a long skirt, high heels and with an amazing British accent. Who could pull this off better than our wonderful Gillian Anderson? Can you see her dressed in white, walking around the office, talking to Snake from time to time? Yeah. So can I. Natasha Romanenko, it's a pleasure to meet you. As I sat down to make this list, Tilda Swinton came to my head immediately. Why? Because she's a really good actress, and looking at her in short hair, I see a copy of Miss Romanenko. Meet Snake's Russian weapons expert. Mei Ling. Mei Ling is crucial in the game. She always comes at Snake with Chinese words of wisdom to pep talk Snake along the way. I don't know why, but I thought of Zhang Ziyu for the role as Mei Ling. She looks a lot like Mei Ling even though there are a lot of other Chinese actresses out there. And she did a lot of great movies like Crouching Tiger amongst others. Armstech President Kenneth Baker. Do I need to say more? Brendan Gleeson is President Baker in the flesh. Look at him in that beige robe and also his age fits perfectly. He's also a well-respected actor. My best memory of him is in 28 Days Later. DARPA Chief Donald Anderson The DARPA Chief should, in my opinion, be portrayed by no other than Jeffrey Wright, simply because he's such a great performer. 
everything he touches in series and movies becomes gold. Just look at him. In Shaft, The Manchurian Candidate, and Westworld. Spot on. Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. I didn't even have to think about this one. Donald Sutherland has a legacy of movie making. He's one of my favorites and I can see him in front of me sitting at the Pentagon in a military suit, a tie and a serious look on his face as Jim Houseman. No question about this one. Hal Emmerich or Otacon. Otacon is our very closest friend in the game. He's forced by Foxhound to research our Metal Gear Rex and is an anime computer nerd who first comes off as a total wimp but redeems himself later on. He also falls deeply in love with the terrorist Sniper Wolf. Cillian Murphy does have a special look that I can totally see portraying Otacon. Put a white jacket on, round glasses instead and fuss up that hair Cillian. As a great actor he is, he could pull this off perfectly. Tom Holland would also do this very well I believe. He already portrayed a nerdy hero as Spider-Man. The only problem is he might be too young for Otacon's role. Master Miller. Master Miller, who is Snake's old master, has two possible actors, Sean Bean and Gary Oldman. Why? Well, obviously because... Nobody could pull off any better than these two actors to portray Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake, who is the terrorist leader and also Snake's brother, should, according to me, and the entire internet probably, be portrayed by no other than Sean Bean. Sean Bean looks exactly like Liquid Snake. He has the accent, he did a great job as a villain in GoldenEye. But the only problem is that Sean Bean has gotten a lot older. Gary Oldman is also old, but he would totally crush the role of Liquid Snake. I mean, just look at him in the fifth element. How much of a bad guy is that? Which brings us to Revolver Ocelot. Ocelot is an expert handgun fighter and torture expert. Dressed from top to toe in cowboy clothes, who could be better than Sam Elliott for the role? I mean, just look at that amazing mustache. He would kill it. But. Gary Oldman could perhaps pull this role off better than doing Liquid Snake simply because of his age. Picture Oldman with a mustache and dressed in cowboy clothes. He could be totally awesome. Sniper Wolf. One of my favorite terrorist characters. The deadly elite sniper of Foxhound. Since day one I pictured before me Fumke Johnson as Sniper Wolf. She has this look that reminds me of Wolf, and also she does a mean job as a Russian terrorist in GoldenEye. Give her a sniper rifle and dye her hair green, and stay out of sight. Vulcan Raven. This is Raven's territory. Who could do that line best? Probably Temuera Morrison. He also looks a lot like how I would picture Raven in real life. But he has aged, no doubt. Another alternative is obvious, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He has the body, he has the size, and the look that matches. Just put a raven tattoo on Temuera or The Rock's forehead, and for the love of God, look at The Rock firing off that Gatling gun. Well, I do believe we have a tie here, people. Mr. Mystery Man, Decoy Octopus. Little is known about him other than he is a master of disguise, coming from the CIA at first. We do not see his true form in the game, only dressed up as DARPA chief Donald Anderson. Who could have known? But since a movie needs a lot more to get interesting, we would want a fast look at him. I do believe, without a doubt in my heart, that Steve Buscemi would kill the role. Psycho Mantis Mantis is my absolute favorite character in the game. With his psychic powers and mysterious meditation hymn, he is also a pretty scary character. I definitely believe that Tom Hiddleston could pull it off. Put on a gas mask and a lot of disgusting makeup, dress up as Mantis and just be the ultimate bad guy as Loki. And we are done. Big Boss. 
the big bad boss himself. Liquid can't stop talking about him. But just look at that pirate eye. And look at Kurt Russell. And look back at him again. Need I really say more? Yeah, I didn't think so. And last but not least, Ninja. Actually named Grey Fox. Snake's old friend from Zanzibar, half cyborg, half human. An experiment not sure what side he's on. And also Naomi Hunter's brother. Hayden Christensen would pull this off. I am sure of it. We all need to give Hayden a chance. He is Anakin Skywalker, but we all know that when he turns to the dark side, he looks bad ass. And that's a fact. He also could pull off the skill of wielding that sword one more time. Suit up again, Annie. I mean Hayden. Well, guys, that is my wish list for actors for the upcoming live action Metal Gear Solid movie. I hope you enjoyed that list. It might not match yours, some of it might. If you have any other ideas for actors to portray these roles, please leave them in the comments down below and have a great discussion about this. As the fans, we are. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. It means so much to me if you do that. But if you do that, don't forget to turn on the notifications so you won't miss out on any future videos that I post just like this one. And please leave me a thumbs up on this clip. It helps me so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye then.